hey guys, today I got an in, uh, a video series for you guys of uh, how to constantly ROM your device, how to root your device, how to change your boot up screen, and how to uh, change up your boot up animation. Because uh, you all ask me how to do this, how to do that, how to do this. I will. Um, at the moment, I'm gonna go through, through a quick crash course of like what you need. What you do and what you uh, can do, what the, the um, like the pros of this, like proper pros of like a proper list of pros and cons, uh, not like the the first video of this series is the infomercial of me trying being stupid saying, "Are you sick and tired?" type of thing. I'm not doing that. Um, so the pros that you're getting is uh, you getting a phone. Let's say if it's an S9, that's a 2018, is now outdated, stuck on Android 10. You can still update it to the latest OS by custom roaming it. So that's one major improvement. You can make the longevity of the device much more longer. Or if you're sick and tired of um, the stock OS that you had before, you can go to like a different OS, like a Xiaomi's stuff, or uh, I don't know if the Plus One, One Plus have his, uh, stuff like that. Uh, has um, Pixel Experience, also you can go to stuff like that, or you can downgrade your device, like for example having a cus uh, custom ROM of um, Samsung experience, in my case. But these work on certain phones, that's a, well, that's a, what the pros of, of this. Second pro, sometimes it actually improves the battery life, sometimes. Not all the time, it can actually handle the battery life sometimes. Uh, and sometimes it makes the phone faster or slower, depends on the, what ROM you go with. If it's a newer ROM, it makes the phone slower, but makes more the phone future-proofed for like more apps to work. If you go older, it makes the phone faster because there's less of a thing to do than the stock one. Makes sense. Um, then there's a... Uh, Another pro that the fact that they are rooted, so you can have full access to the phone, not like what you have right here, the kind of limited to what the system allows you. You have full access to your devices, so you can change your navigation sounds, like actual navigation sounds, in system instead of just in uh, settings. Uh, you can change your boot up animation. You can change your boot up sounds. You can change your charging sounds. For example, I have uh, made this S8 to have a Typhoon uh, sound to have like uh, there's many different uh, case scenarios of like you can muck about with and you can have your own custom fonts for example I have Century Goth on all my um, custom ROM devices now few cons uh, or like one major con you void your warranty but with uh, the devices I'm doing this like with the S9, S8, S10s they're all already voided warranty by the fact that it's pass, do. Um, but with the, avoiding the warranty, even with uh, even going past to it, might be sometimes if you go to like a uh, Samsung Center or like with Apple devices to Apple Genius Bar, they might not let you fix the devices. But uh, just giving you a heads up, like if you ever open your devices or you mess around with them, those are not not gonna work properly for you guys. Um, other things, uh, I will show how to do it because I need to do this on a uh, this a Note 8 because I accidentally, as a dummy, tried to on custom um, using custom recovery try to wipe the OS, but I have restored it through a SD card and tried to reinstall it and didn't work. So I need to restock, like redo the whole thing that I did on us, but. Yeah, the warnings and the, the pros and cons are now done. Now, the crash course, how does a, a custom recovery look different to a... So I have here two S9s that look awfully dissimilar. Um, the only one difference between, like, these are both, like, the real real units, as you can see. But this one is a like, Japanese, that's why it says Dokomo. But otherwise, they're literally the same thing. But... You can, okay, there's a list of devices you can do this on, like the whole custom ROM nonsense and you can pre-install stuff is 
easy to do on Exynos models. And a one certain model for the um, Snapdragon variant is the Zero variant, or the O variant, something like that people also call it. And what I mean by like a O variant or something like that is when you, whenever you're going to uh, set the settings and you go into about page and you look at the model number, whatever ends with the last letter before like the DS or whatever you had, but the where you want the model num model name ends with a number zero, that one you can custom on. Or with uh, my case, the B variant also could be custom romped and F variants could be also custom romped uh, for like the non-China phones these are European ones and the Exynos ones and not the Snapdragon the one the, the zero Chinese variant the custom recovery how does it look or like in general how does the recovery even look you may be accidentally even booted into it but how you boot into recovery is uh, by pressing the power button the volume up and a big speed button at the same time and let the phone to boot. There you go. You see this, and then you can see how the co uh, like a recovery looks. It just gives you an option: reboot now, uh, reboot system, reboot to bootloader. That's what we're going to be using for uh, custom recovery, but to install on the phone. Then uh, there's uh, apply updates from ADB, uh, apply updates from SD card, wipe or factory reset. That's how you probably had reset your phones. Wipe cache partition. Mount slash system, view recovery logs, run graphic test, and power off the device. That's what options you get, and that's it for like the stock recovery. For the custom one, you the same way again, the power button, volume up, and uh, big speed. There you go, boot up, and uh, now it should boot into recovery. So you should screen, you should see. The screen there, team, uh, team win, or TWRP, for team, uh, team win recovery project. You get the install tab. That's where you can install your ROMs. Wipe the phone. That's where you can wipe, obviously the name. Back up your phone, like all your stuff like that. Uh, restored, and uh, mount, wherever you need to mount. I actually don't know what that does most of the time. Uh, settings, basically the settings of the like the recovery itself. Uh, advance will allows you to like uh, ADB uh, side load stuff, terminal stuff like also like that. And the uh, reboot to stuff like that you can do recovery, download or system or power off like what the normal recovery could do. There should be a couple requirements to make it work. Oh, or like uh, to install, uh, well, I'm getting into this a bit too, into how to install it, but I'm not going to be getting to in this video. Um, but yeah, warning, these, uh, the one, the steps I will do only work from S, um, the, with the Bixby buttons, uh, from the S8 to the S9, specifically, will work both fine. So basically, Note 9s, um, S8, uh, S8 Plus, Note 8, Note 9 will work perfectly fine, exactly. You can uh, follow the guide. I tried to make the same guide for like an S10, how to do it properly or something like that. Like for like a couple other devices because there's like, um, with the non big speed buttons if I can get in the future a few more other devices to do that with. But these ones are slightly weirder to put into recovery. It's not, it's the same way but you need to have it plugged into um, desktop. But yeah, that's the basically the crash. I think so. The crash course. I get, I, I told the cons. I told the pro uh, thing. Oh right, important thing. Download the version OS of your phone, like a main original OS from the phone. Uh, you can go to some uh, some firmware tool uh, on the internet. I will link them below, um, and uh, you can download the specific version for your device. For example, if your device is a uh, SMG965F, then uh, download the F variant of your phone because the U variant will not work on this because it's not an American variant. Stuff like that. And just have a backup of it. Just leave it and uh, that's it. 
you also probably would need it in the future videos because whenever we're going to be getting into custom boot up screens we need that file too but yeah otherwise oh good we got through the crash we got crash course and everything like that i will personally do, do the whole videos about it on the no date so if you have a no date you can 100 percent follow the guide but it should work on the like the phones i mentioned here but yeah i hope you enjoyed this uh, intro to um this series and the second series will well, no, the uh, second video will get into how to install this but yeah i hope you enjoyed it